Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Tires Capades channel in Malaysia. Today on the channel, I'm taking a look at a die-cast toy product that's lifted off one of this summer's hottest movie tickets at the box office. I'm talking about the F-14 Tomcat from Top Gun Maverick. Judging from the film's performance at the box office, I think it's safe to say that just about every single movie-loving fan on the planet has seen it by now. And I gotta tell you something, guys. It's one of the best movies of all time for me personally. And it's an 80s-styled movie. One of the best examples of this, the moment that you know that it's the 1980s all over again, is when the F-14 Tomcat appears on screen. Now Matchbox has released a ton of product to tie in with the movie, a whole bunch of jets and a couple of ground vehicles too. Let's check out what they did with this one. Now I wish that the back of the card actually contained more information. Uh, it's mostly just manufacturing information, like a whole ton of manufacturing information, distribution offices, stuff like that. But you do get the registered trademarks for Northrop Grumman, the makers, the originators of the F-14 Tomcat and also the Paramount Studios logo. Okay, first impressions. Out of the box, this is obviously the F-14 Tomcat that was used in the film's thrilling finale where Maverick and Rooster were trying to make their daring escape. Yeah, this is obviously that one. Just check out all the vintage weathering that's on the jet here. I can't resist it, okay? I'm trying to see if I can crack open the canopy and if there's like tiny little pilots inside there all right but no the canopy doesn't open nothing on this vehicle opens or moves okay as you'll see in the review all right it's just one static piece of die cast now just below the cockpit area and from a distance it kind of looks like there's a lot of stuff being scribbled there okay <laughs> but uh, upon closer inspection and probably with a magnifying glass you can see that it's in fact a lot of carefully applied insignias on both sides right this is a very much appreciated level of detail it does elevate the sculpt the overall look of this jet uh, but not by a whole lot now also on the back here at the tail fin section you get a very nice insignia there of a hawk uh, or is it a falcon here on both sides i like the look of this thing a lot of fighter jets come with different insignias on the tail fins sometimes you get a skull and crossbones this one here is one of my personal favorites now, although the entire jet is soaked with weathered detailing, somehow they missed out the rear section. The rear section here looks immaculate. I don't know why it looks so clean. Uh, it's like the whole section right? is <laughs> very pristine looking and uh, it just makes it stand out unnecessarily. Uh, I kind of wish that they didn't omit this part. On the underside of the jet, it's super plain looking there is no weathering of any kind uh it looks like it just rolled off the showroom <laughs> um yeah you do get some details here like the uh, missiles all right on both of the wings here uh that's basically about it now you do get uh the wheels right now about those wheels okay uh these are in fact uh, actually quite uh, rubbery all right i'm a bit surprised that these are not die cast okay they are quite flexible Actually. and the other thing about them is that they do not roll okay uh, that's just uh, something I've never actually owned I think a matchbox jet vehicle uh, so this comes as a surprise to me are they all like this all right because I thought that these were at least supposed to move right it's just a static piece uh, it doesn't roll uh, you can't do anything with it <laughs> Okay, so having stationary wheels on a toy vehicle jet is kind of a weird direction for me. Uh, it kind of feels like this thing was put together on a budget, all right? Maybe the license cost too much. The package also comes with a very nice looking cardboard backdrop. This thing opens up into an even larger view, a very scenic looking view of what appears to be the setting for the film's final battle. Uh, this is a very nice piece. It's very sturdy. Uh, and in fact, you can actually use it uh, as a display piece. So if you were to place the jet against it, it looks fantastic, right? It's like it's just flying across the mountains, uh, just like the film's ending. Uh, the only thing that's missing out is a stand, right? I wish it didn't came with a stand. Uh, as it is, you could probably just sort of like just hover the thing against it and pretend like it's flying. <laughs> So if you were to flip the cardboard backdrop around, what you get is a short looking runway. Uh, this thing is a pleasant surprise. Uh, it actually functions. You can actually put it down on the ground 
and position the jet on it uh, just like this uh, i suppose if you were to get more of these cardboard sets you could probably form a larger runway yeah something that isn't going to send the jet crashing <laughs> off to the sides but uh it's a nice display piece uh, it's great that they thought to add these things to the package uh, i just wish that the jet in fact turned out a whole lot better now this is one of those situations where I kind of feel that you know there's probably not a lot you can do with this thing once you actually take it out of the package so if you just wanted to leave it sealed on card um you know you probably would be better off perhaps okay there's a lot of things here that I'm not really happy with uh now for some reason I can't help but feel that Matchbox is like a cheaper alternative to Hot Wheels even though they're both from the same company it's kind of like Duplo and Lego and I kind of feel that perhaps if Hot Wheels had picked up the full license for this the end product would have been so much better I'm sure of it the whole thing for the presentation of the product to the features of the product everything would have been a lot better let me know what you think of it in the comments section and thanks guys for joining me once again for this review I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content take care out there